Hello all. Hope you all are doing good. My name is Saurav Dhani and in this video we'll discuss about how to set up item and vendor approvals. And this video is based on the request from uh, one of the comments that I received on my YouTube channel. So I know I have you know I'm not able to keep pace with the videos that I'm, I was able to maybe two weeks ago but the good news is that I'm spending that time in learning a new skill in business center and it's you know, it's really fun to learn something new and I'm you know I promise that once I, I fully bake that idea and understand that process completely I'll either come up with new blogs around it or maybe some videos around it it's it's pretty early I'm, I'm very early stages of deciding how should I I want to share that content but let's start this and let's see uh, how we can set it up I'll be using business central 16 which is also called as 2020 release wave 1 but you can follow these steps in dynamics nav 2016 and higher so just for the demo what I have done is I have two sessions open one with my user and one with an approver user that I'll be using for this demo so to begin with let's open the workflow window and let's try to set up the approver so we'll click on new and then we'll choose from the template once you choose from the template you get a list of templates that are pre-generated by Microsoft so we'll come down and look for item approval workflow so when you click on item approval workflow it copies the template and creates a workflow for you I'll not go into details of what these steps are I'm pretty sure you had watched previous video and you have if you haven't go you know go and uh, see those video where I've discussed all the steps in detail so on other than those steps which are previously discussed in details there's a slight uh, limitations I would say in the item workflow and that's on the first event response combination so let's understand that so when you click on the first response you see that there is a way or there are different ways that you can send approval requests to like you have ways to use salesperson purchaser approver or workflow user group and then inside these there are different options again so just to make it clear salesperson and purchaser option doesn't work with item workflows because there is no salesperson purchaser attached to it the approver type approver does work with certain limitation but workflow user group works as it is so once you choose approver there are again different options here which are direct approver approval chain first qualified approver and specific approver the approver limit type that works with item is everything other than approval chain because if you have seen previous video approver chain works based on the amount that the approver can approve so on a master record like item there's no amount that the approval chain can follow so you can use direct approver which means the user that is assigned as your approver as in the requester approver will get a notification and he or she can approve it first qualifying as we discussed earlier in previous videos and specific approver is when you define one specific approver whom you want to approve 
please request so let's choose uh, direct approver just for this demo and you can surely play with other options as we go forward and let's enable it the other difference that we have in item approvals or I'm pretty sure with the other master approvals also then while you compare them with the document approver that we have seen in the past like sales and purchase is that there is no uh, by default there is no uh, mechanism to invoke the workflow or there is no enforcement to activate or to request an approval so let me explain you what I mean by that so if I go to my items page and now relate it or think it from the perspective of sales order there is a condition written in the sales order workflow that when a approval of uh, when the status is changed to released or whenever somebody tries to release there's a code written behind the scene which in checks that is there a workflow exist and then forces user to go through the approval before he or she can release that order so those checks and balances are not in place for masters as in I can always come here and let's say execute any process like open item journal and maybe uh, you know use the same item and do a positive adjustment and post it system will not stop me because there is no checks and balances that this need to be approved or there is no status field on item that part you'll have to customize if you want that but right now on the base product you can always user can always request approval but that's it there is no force for user to request an approval so before we click that let's see the approval user setup as we have selected direct approval and the person who is approving it uh, sending the request which is me in this case his direct approver that is defined on the approver ID will get an approval request so there should be one request for approver one in this case when we send an approval request so let's click on that that has been sent and you can always see it from approvals button that there is a request open for approver one and he can approve it as I said earlier because there is no amount factor so you cannot use the chain so now when we go to the approver window in the same company and check request for approve request to approve we'll see that there is one request for item the same operations all those things are available like approve reject delegate open the record or add comments to that approval thing and rest of the process goes as it is now this is what's there in for item and let's quickly check is there something for vendors so when you choose workflow from template and yes there is a vendor approval workflow and you can follow the same steps as we did for item and those steps will remain same so two things to notice uh, how item and vendor approvals are different from sales or purchase document approval one there is no enforcement by default in the system written and you as a developer will have to write if you are on CAL then custom code or events use events in business central versions 
and as an AL developer you might write an extension which will enforce user to get the item or vendor approved so that's the first thing to remember the second thing to remember is salesperson and purchaser approval type does not work with items and vendors and I'm pretty sure for customers also and approval type approver works but the chain approval chain does not work with items and vendors so I hope you find this video useful and I was able to answer your question who requested it please share your views and suggestions as comment to this video please do share the video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't have a great day and see you next time